What is going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Lots of news happening today on One Piece Treasure Cruise on both Japan and also Global. Um, we've already seen all the stuff with Yoshi and the Global side of things, but now let's go ahead and face our attention to the Japanese side of the game, where we have now the official data download for the One Piece Day Sugo Fest. The One Piece Day Sugo Fest is going to be arriving on Japan July 22nd at midday JST time, which of course is going to be a little bit different time zones wise for the global version of the game but for this character this is not arriving on one piece treasure cruise global i know a lot of people were upset at the fact that you know japan was getting a one piece day celebration with a brand new obviously straw hat characters sugo fest exclusive character uh whereas you know global is not getting that um, but after you see its effects, it's like, do you really care about having this character or not? We'll go ahead and go through it. Um, this character is good either way you look at it. It is a good character, but I don't think I'm that excited for this character overall. And you guys will see why as we get into this video today. But we can see obviously with this unit, they are a super type unit, a super psi free spirit fighter which is nothing really too you know exciting or like really surprising at all we kind of expected that to be the case let's go ahead over to this post from koala-san appreciate koala-san for the translations let's go ahead and go through it their captain effect will boost all characters by four times all characters health by 1.2 boost their own attack only by 5x so just that alone you know that's like pretty bland honestly and then it says that when your health is full at the start of the turn their own attacks are going to be super effective against all types. That's really good though. Um, the fact that we've seen so many times in the past, any type of ability that gives you super effective damage is always going to be valuable in some way, shape or form. We've seen it with Douglas Bullet. He's always a very, very good unit to use. Obviously, normal attacks only kind of nerfs his special ability and what he aims to do. But Captain Ability alone, still to this day, on paper, Captain Ability alone is still one of the better ones in the game. Uh, Gemma Double Six, they're a little bit niche in their usage, but you know, obviously switching into the Captain spot, getting all boosting and also being super effective is very very good and now we have another character that has access to super effective damage against all content and of course you only get it if you're at full hp at the start of the turn that's the drawback there because any type of damage you have if you're not at full hp you're not going to get access to this but obviously there are characters in the game that can kind of aid you in that in that sense of getting to that full hp marker um honestly it's fine it's it's a perfectly acceptable captain ability i'm not that excited for it you know a lot of people are going to say this is really amazing but the chance of you being full hp all the time isn't going to be too high um, unless if you're doing your burst turn and you have a healing special on top of that otherwise you're not really going to be seeing the super effective against all types all the time especially if you're using him in more difficult content where you have to stall and take damage you're just never going to see that but if you are able to get this to activate on burst turns he himself is going to be hitting ridiculously hard um, so that's that right their special ability goes down to 14 turns now mind you this is with limit break expansion i don't know if it'll be like 15 turns with regular limit break we're not too sure yet but um we have his special which says it does a lot of different things. For one turn, it will go ahead and make all color orbs beneficial. It's going to go ahead and boost the cruise attack by 2.25, boost the color affinity of all characters by 1.75. It delays all enemies for one turn. You can choose one debuff on your crew and reduce it by five turns, very similar to version one Shirahoshi and Mansherry. For one turn, reduce incoming damage by 70%, changes block orbs into matching, heals 4,343 health, and then reduces five turns of blue shield defense up and five turns percent damage reduction. Now, the first thing, like when I first read this, I'm like, holy crap, that does a lot of different things. And like, obviously it does. That's a lot of different effects to take into consideration. However, there are obviously pros and cons to this character just as a whole, right? Number one is the fact that it's a straw hat character. This character has all of the straw hats, which means you cannot use any other straw hat on your crew and you cannot use any of other straw hat as a support character on your crew. That in and of itself is probably the biggest drawback to this entire character's design. Um, so as, as cool as this character is, it just in, in, in practice, I don't know how fully effective this character will actually be, but their special ability as well with 
like you've got some pros and cons of having so many different effects being activated obviously the good thing is you can do a lot of things you can deal with a lot of content but on the flip side the fact that it does deal with a lot of things means that, that it has a very very high chance of the enemy reacting to it special interrupts are not uncommon in this day and age and having an ability like this has a really high chance of being interrupted by the enemy so that's something that is not super great the way that i read this special ability it reminds me a lot of just being like a jack of all trades but a master of none and what i mean by that is yeah they do a lot of different things but there's so many other characters you can use to do each specific role that just do it better than them so this unit can do a lot of things right you know they can give you a huge attack boost they give you color affinity but like if you want an attack boost, Roger's just better. If you want color affinity, I mean, Legend NL is better. Uh, V2 NL, I'm speaking of. Uh, or just any other... There's a lot of other better col color affinity boosters. They delay, which is like a bit whatever. Um, the, the removing five turns of a chosen debuff, that's probably one of the most valuable things that this character actually has. That's super good. Um, the 70% damage reduction, like, again, there's better damage reducers in the game. Block goes into matching is pretty stock standard. The health is better health recovery, recovery units in the game. And then reducing uh, the defense up and rainbow shield, like, that is also really good honestly not really taking any anything away from that but again if you want to remove more turns of that or just better utility there are better characters than that so that's what i kind of want to convey to you guys well yes this character is good they're not the best at any one specific thing and that's one of the big downsides to the unit in my opinion as well i mean you guys leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section but i'm not overly impressed thus far with this character's kit it's fine this character is good but i would much rather use so many other characters comparing to this character just because of the fact that the biggest drawback of the unit having so many different characters you cannot get access to now obviously does kind of suck but i digress let's move on the super type condition to activate it you just have to have an attack boost active on your crew so you can use their special ability to activate it or you can use like shank's crew switch effect which is probably one of the easier ways to do it because what it does it gives your crew minus one cooldown and 100 times their attack to all enemies that ignores all defensive effects it does not ignore normal attacks only but increased defense i assume it goes past increased defense kind of similar to the sweet commanders and in general um this super type special is like pretty much the same as the sweet commanders I think the sweet commanders might have a uh, actually I think they are a hundred times their attack uh, but I think it's like fixed damage I can't remember exactly what they do but I know it's minus cooldown and then damage that goes through defensive effects it's pretty much this exact effect but sweet commanders only give cooldown to strength units whereas this character is to all characters and of course you become a super psy character so super type special is again just kind of average i was kind of expecting more and the fact that this character actually doesn't have an orb boosting effect it would have made sense if their super tight special was an orb boost but they haven't gone down that route i do like this this because it does allow you to do some speed farming um, and plus they, their cooldown is so high naturally that actually getting minus cooldown is pretty useful to have so i guess that kind of makes sense but um, I was kind of expecting a little bit more. The Sailor effects are pretty stock standard as well. Plus 100 stats to all characters. And Psy Orbs are beneficial to all characters. Again, like nothing super amazing there. Their Limit Break abilities are also kind of underwhelming for me personally. I would have... See, honestly, the way that I see it, they could have done a lot more right. Because you've got access to... Um, like their effect that allows you to remove debuffs like i think it would have been super interesting if one of their limit break abilities was fear resistance and then make one of their sailor effects like immune to special reverse and special um bind so that you could use their special all the time no matter what i feel like that would have been a really really cool way to um abuse some of the stuff with this character but unfortunately they've gone with crit which is only 70 percent chance to get seven percent extra which is not very useful um they've got hunger like hunger is pretty good it, it, whenever it comes up it's always nice to have a unit that can remove it so i'm not really that upset about that but then they've got ship seal like why why have they got ship bind like honestly i don't understand why they have ship bind it doesn't make any sense um because we've seen this with previous characters and we're like oh you know they got ship bind surely that means that they're going to be releasing more content with with uh with ship seal sometime in the future and well we keep waiting like the ship bind is literally one of the most uncommon debuffs that we've seen in the game's history and it just never comes up like this honestly is a wasted limit break potential ability and i do not like it this should have been fear resistance in my personal opinion i think that would have been much more valuable for the character and then added on top with changing their crewmate effect but again <laughs> we don't control these things Anyways, uh, we have their support effect, and their support effect also underwhelming, attaching to all characters, adding 10% base stats. Here's also another big problem with the character, okay? So, the fact is, is they attach to all characters. I love that they do that, but the problem here is, is the fact that they take up the spot of every single other Straw Hat character in the game. 
that honestly sucks. And the fact is, they give you 10% stats to that supported character. We have so many characters in the game that already give stats. And the fact that you're taking up so many positions on the crew, why not give them some amazing piece of utility? I feel like that would have been so much more valuable to add to the character. Like maybe when you reach the final stage, remove one debuff by five turns. Like something crazy OP like that, that would have made this character so valuable and worth running on the team. But the fact that this character takes up so many crew spots for um, any potential Straw Hat character for other crew supports, like if you wanted to use like Valentine's Nami for Bind and Despair removal, or you wanted to use uh, potentially like Super Type Zora for an orb boost if you wanted to do something like that, or like Strength Rare Recruit Sandy to remove Despair and Paralysis. Like there's so many other units you could be potentially using, but no, now you've just got stats instead. It's just not valuable enough. They should have done a lot more to make this character more valuable as a legend, because honestly, as it stands right now, pretty underwhelming honestly I'm, I'm i'm pretty underwhelmed at this character they should have done a lot more um so looking at their pirate rumble stuff um their special at level 10 is 1.7 times attack in a large range they heal a thousand hp periodically for 15 seconds i love that that's actually really good and 50 percent chance to inflict a movement seal on two enemies for five seconds yeah in, in pvp this is a really really good special now let's have a look at what their cooldown is I think it was high, yeah, 31. I think that's a little bit on the high end, but remember, on a defense team, this would actually be pretty solid because you get access to damage, which is good, obviously, healing mechanics periodically, and then also you have a chance to movement seal the enemy. So this has potential to be good. Their passive is all allies get level five attack, level five health, and for the first 30 seconds, level two defense for Psy. Again, this is a fantastic passive. This unit in Pyre Rumble is honestly very good, but it's just such a shame that they missed the mark on some of these other abilities not a big fan of that but anyways that's the rundown of the brand new uh straw hat pirates sugo fest exclusive character as i said leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section but finally we also have one other free to play character that's making their debut which we have the the buggy pirates um so we've got a whole bunch of them mr three alveda uh kabaji moji richie and they've also got buggy himself of course so this unit uh int driven shooter captain ability minus one cooldown characters with a cost of 30 or less or exactly 50 cost to get three times attack 1.2 health and a chance to duplicate a drop nothing special there their special ability which what was their cooldown again i think it was like 12 wasn't it yeah 12 turns reduces two turns of bind despair paralysis special seal attack down and changes block bomb recovery 10 into matching and a two times orb boost for one turn not a bad special ability for a free-to-play unit i wish the, the utility was a little better but you know two turns is at least it's something right um, and then their Sailor Effect reduced five turns of blindness, which is good, and reduced five turns of bind. This, I think that's, that has to be a typo, right? We haven't had a crewmate effect that just says resist bind on the character. I'm, I'm pretty certain this should be special bind, um, because this character removes special bind. Yeah, look, I think that's a mistake. Not too sure though. If that isn't a mistake, that's the first Sailor Effect in the game that's ever done that, by the way. Uh, Orb Seal Reduction, five turns, Barrier Penetration, above 50% Bypass. Support is just stats. Uh, level 5 attack to in, 50% chance of movement seal one enemy, 50% chance for paralysis, 50% chance to inflict special seal. That's a pretty bad special. And level 5 attack, level 3 speed for int. Again, not too bad, but um, yeah. Okay, so that's the breakdown of, uh, of this new batch. Unfortunately, I feel like they kind of missed the mark and... Yeah, I, I'm actually not that upset that we're missing out on this character because honestly, like, you know, this character's good, but they could have done so many other things that would make this character better. And as I said, the fact that it does take up so many different straw hats, I would have preferred if this character was like insane bonkers balls to the wall utility so that you could fit other characters that did those huge boosting effects a lot better on your crew and you have this character just be a utility beast. I know that isn't likely what they would have ever done, but I think that would have made the character character more valuable to own um, especially if they made their support even better than what it was because that support is a little underwhelming too but let, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section of the brand new straw hat pirate sugar fest exclusive character hopefully you guys enjoyed this one today and if you guys did enjoy it make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video